Moving up, 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 moving up. Yes, that's right. It's time for another movie dump. Moving up, 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 moving up. What is that? Is that like our new theme song? I don't know. I just are you just popping out with a new theme song or something? I figured it worked. New year, new theme song. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Moving up, moving up. Twenty thousand eleven. Moving up, moving up, moving up. Twenty thousand eleven. Although we're playing a joke on everybody because we're really recording this in two thousand and ten. Yes. And they'll hear it in two thousand eleven. So here we are, Nick and Ben from the past. It's not as impressive as if it was like from the future. No, not really. I guess it'd be cooler if we came back from the future to report on all the shitty movies that are, you know, happening in 2011, like Transmorphers 6, <laughs> <laughs> Part 2. <laughs> oh, God, they made two of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's because there was so much to be told with that story. Because you know? the book was so thick, they had to split it up into two parts? Yeah, they did. Exactly. Huh. So, you know. Okay. It's it's weird. That's from the future. So Yeah. All right. So what did we watch for uh, this week's episode? I know the answer to this. What is it? We watched The Spirit. Well, thank you. At least one of us was uh, awake during the movie. <laughs> Isn't that right, Scott? Oh, oh that's yeah. right. He's still not back yeah, from his vacation. Yeah. Three in... weeks in a row and no Scott. Oh, boy. No Scott. No, well, it's no. been quite delightful. Yes, But Melissa watched the movie with us, but she didn't want to do the podcast. She didn't really watch the movie. She played Frontierville. Yeah, she was on Frontierville playing that the whole time. Which, to be fair, is probably what I would have been doing if I had a computer in front of me during this movie. Yeah, as well, and I too. kept... I kept falling asleep during it it was kind of boring which is probably the same thing yeah you did you kept falling asleep like halfway through (laughs) I kept looking over and and I kept pointing at you and Melissa would like punch you in the face yeah you know to wake you up yeah so So lovely yeah yeah Uh, well let's just dive right into this one Uh, let's not try to you know stick around with the whatever this is Uh, if you just wanted to go ahead all right. uh, read off the uh, the synopsis so the synopsis of the spirit in 2008 um, <clears throat> I'm going to work some phlegm up for this. So I still have this sinus, you know, cold thingy. So um, I'm going to have a nice grazely gra- uh, voice, gravelly voice, I think. So, um, all right. Ready? You ready? Yeah, whatever. You ready? Okay. Whatever. Down these mean streets, a man must come. A hero born, murdered, and born again. When a rookie cop named Denny Colt returns from... The, can we play, like, some music in the background while I'm, I'm doing this? You want something? me to start it over and play some music? Uh, just, like, some... I don't know. Just something. All right, something I'll, I'll start some music from right here. Here, here, here. Oh, that, that's here, nice. Here, here, here. We've got some music. Okay. There we go. Here? Yeah. Uh, that's... Yeah. That, that, that's okay, what, okay yeah, go. It, that's a nice little, you know... That's a yeah. nice little, you know... Uh, well, better finish it before the music runs out. Okay, all right. Uh, we're we're not even... Right, let's see. Uh, when a rookie cop named Denny Colt returns from beyond as the spirit... A hero whose mission is to fight against the bad forces from the shadows of Central City. The Octopus. (laughs) Stupid name. The Octopus who kills anyone unfortunate enough enough to see his face who has other plans. Isn't he or does this have bad grammar? Uh, It sounds like it has bad grammar. Uh, He's going to wipe out the entire city. The spirit tracks this cold-hearted killer from the city's rundown warehouses to the damp catacombs to the windswept waterfronts, all the while facing a bevy of beautiful women who either want to seduce, love, or kill the masked crusader. Read by Anthony Prevera, hypersonic91 at yahoo.com. <laughs> <laughs> So we know where the uh, bad grammar came from. Yeah, pretty much. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so this was a very film noir esque. Yes, um, movie. Uh, it was. Uh, it was one of a. Uh, uh, it was written and directed by uh, Frank Miller. Frank the Miller. Screenplay was written by by Frank Miller of Three Hundred Fame and Three Hundred and uh, Sin City. City. Yes, yep. and uh, um, and. Uh, Batman Year One and all those, even though they haven't made movies for those yet. Yeah, well, both, well, well, both, uh, you know, three hundred and and um, the other both one. Both three hundred and Sin City. Good movies, did, really good yeah, movies. They, they were they were very well done movies. This one was more in the style of uh, was of, the third like, one of Sin City. Was the third one going to knock it out of the park, <sighs> or does it foul tip off the foul pole? Which I guess technically would still be a home run. But well, unless it tips off foul. Let's, well, there, no, isn't it if it just hits the foul pole, it's a home run now? No. 
Or is that rule revoked? Yeah. Is that ever, I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah, this movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just pass by your analogy here. Well, this movie it, sucked. It was a very interesting film because cinematically it was really nice. Oh yeah, cinematically, uh, the, the, the cinematography was really was really awesome. The the uh, the effect and the feel, the the, the film noir, and um, it had the Sin City as you know the, the the harsh. You have the 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 flat reds and blacks and whites in there. Yeah, it looked like a comic book. It looked like kind of, a, it, it looked it was, like a comic book. Well, it, I I don't know. I I I'm not going to say comic book. I'm going to say it was more film noir than comic book. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. But um, it it, it, it I can see it was where Frank. It, it was Frank book. Miller. It was Frank Miller. F- film noir. Yeah, and it's like whenever you see a Frank Miller movie, you know it's Frank Miller movie. Unless that Frank Miller movie was like RoboCop or something, which I guess he didn't really direct, but he wrote or something. Did he write a RoboCop? I don't know. I think he did. Did he? I think he did. I'm oh, pretty sure he did. I could I could quickly check this. For All right, you. you check it. I'm gonna sing a song. Movie dump. Movie dump. Movie dump. Movie dump. Movie dump. Why don't you talk about the movie a little bit? Movie. Movie dump. Because I, I this movie there was a lot of talking in this movie and just not yeah a lot of he uh, yeah he who wrote the screenplay for RoboCop uh, two yeah and Electric the, the, Boogaloo <laughs> and then the uh, the video game uh, character and scenarios for RoboCop three and then the screenplay for RoboCop three. Oh yeah, and they like fucked up RoboCop three a lot too because it wasn't like his real yes. thing. So, well, uh, <laughs> next week on the movie dump, RoboCop three. <laughs> um, no, back to uh, the spirit. You know what's funny? When I remember when this movie was coming out, um, I don't know why, but people were like, "Hey, you're gonna go see the spirit," and I'm like, uh, "I don't want to see that," because I thought it was about a horse. No, that was the cartoon from Disney, yeah. the Spirit, which came out like years before that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, you I thought Frank remember. Miller was doing a remake of, of Disney's The Spirit? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't know. It's like a horse who who dies and it was a vengeance family. <laughs> Somehow that was sent to the meat market and eaten by gargoyles or something. I, I <laughs> okay. think gargoyles eat meat. It's, it's sure like, go for go for it. Why well, not? eat horse Why meat not? specifically. I'm pretty sure that's the mythology of it. So what you're saying is when this movie was uh, was being. Uh, previewed for theaters you had no interest in going to see no it. not well I, I guess i did kind of a little bit but it was so kind of under the radar it was very like uh i think it was i don't know i just this it kind of passed me over i didn't really think much of it um it was kind of in and out of the theater so fast before i really you know actually kind of latched on to it yeah it, it, it tanked in theaters it, it this whole this movie just didn't it didn't go over very well. The uh, I think this is a style of movie that either people are going to really, really like or really, really. Hate. Well, I think everybody's going to hate this. Well, movie, you had I guess. you had two out of the three uh, pieces of the puzzle here. You had the the style of it and yeah. and uh, and the editing and, and all that looked amazing. The cast was amazing. You know, they had a good cast. They had a good cast that, but I think the cast did. Well, Samuel L. Jackson was okay. Samuel L. Jackson did a, did an okay. Job. I thought Scarlett Johansson sucked in this. Yeah, the cast was very just one dimensional. Yeah. Very, you know, they, well, here, here uh, Robert Ebert actually <laughs> said it perfectly on on yeah. it. He says, uh, "Do it in the Robert Ebert voice." <laughs> I don't do a very good Robert Ebert. Well, he's like all messed up now, so all you have is like. <laughs> <laughs> How would I just read it normally? Yeah. Uh, if I could find it, I just had it, and then you made me lose my spot, fucker. Move it up, move it up, move it up. Move it up. <laughs> all right, all right. There, uh, this is this is a, rock, a quote from Robert Ebert about this film. Uh, there is no trace of human emotion in it. To call the characters cardboard is to insult a useful packing material. <laughs> Ouch. I, yeah, I think that's uh, a little harsh. I think Mr. Ebert was just pissed off because yeah. he lost his throat or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I think it, I think it was, I think that was a little harsh. I don't think it was that no. bad. It was bad. I mean, I, I will agree but. with him that, that the characters are kind of cardboard. <clears throat> they, I mean, they really... I, I know you're trying to go for the film noir, and you're trying to, you know, you're trying to have that that, that type of feel, but yeah. it just seemed, it did seem kind of bland. The whole, the movie starts off like in the middle, yeah. Of I wouldn't even say it's, action well, really. It starts off in the middle of the story. It kind of. starts off and something's happening, and you're like, okay, yeah, there's something, there's something going on. But if this was a roller, if this was a a theme park ride, yeah, this wouldn't be Space Mountain. This wouldn't be. Uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. This wouldn't even be Pirates of the Caribbean. This would be It's a Smaller World after all. 
it just keeps on going. It just <laughs> keeps on going and going, and there's no like up and down. Up, it was just a uh, very flat, safe ride. I guess I kind of get it, that it, analogy. It, it's, yeah. it starts off and then just plateaus the rest of the way. Yeah, because there wasn't really a huge climax or anything like that. There was a fight yeah. at the end, and I guess there was. You know, honestly, I guess really the best part of this. I, I think. Maybe the first ten minutes of the movie was just the part I was kind of interested in, and then I just got bored. Really. Well, because you're w- wondering what's going on. Yeah. The first ten minutes yeah. of the movie. I mean, that's supposed to hook you. That's supposed to get the audience. And yeah, the honestly, first, if we uh, weren't doing this for the podcast, I would have turned it off. Yeah, I, think I wanted this to walk out of the theaters through. when I went and saw it. It's. Uh, it, I think this one's a hard one to get through. I think the first in that first ten minutes, like the fight between the spirit and the octopus in that mud or wherever the hell they were. Yeah. I thought that was kind of good. Like I, I was. It was entertaining. He hit him with a fucking toilet. That was funny. <laughs> I think we have a soundbite for that. Do we? Yeah. We, okay. have, we have a soundbite. Something that that Samuel Jackson said about yep. that. Uh, here, soundbite. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, so it's our funny. Yeah. You know? yeah. Samuel Jackson, he had some really good one liners throughout this whole entire movie. Yeah. I, I think out of all of their out of all the characters, he uh his was probably the the most entertaining. Well, it, he he definitely it was definitely a character that I wasn't expecting, you know. I was a uh, you know, he was kind of he was like the megalomaniac villain that was kind of out having fun almost, you yeah. know. And it I didn't really get the idea that he had like a criminal empire or anything like that. It's just he was like mad scientist almost like he cloned a bunch of people to do his bitty like the henchman and then he had yeah. like a, a sidekick lady if anything it seemed like this was uh octopus starting his 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 criminal rise. uh empire yeah maybe because like he that. he uh but it, yeah but it also was established that like he had a criminal empire like he was uh, this was octopus big yeah, as it was referred to, and it just wasn't really. You're just like, okay. Oh, well, you have a badass motherfucker that can't die. <laughs> He's tired of all of these snakes on those motherfucking the planes. planes. <laughs> or wait, wait, what was the censored version? <coughs> I'm tired of these the mother. mother no, no, I'm, t- I'm tired of these. I don't. Uh, monkey flipping. Monkey flipping. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Yeah, it's funny. The censored version of Snakes on a Plane. plane. It's funny. Yes. Um, <clears throat> but it was, uh, he, he, he was okay. I mean, it was an all right character that he was playing. He had a lot of cool costumes, I guess. Yes, he was very, uh, he was f- almost flamboyant. Uh, he, he went into like a, a Nazi uh, theme in one scene. I, I kind of, yeah, I kind of see that's where he got like all his inspiration from. Just the fact, you know, you dress Samuel L. Jackson up in a Nazi uniform, oh, and he's going to have fun with and it. And not you know? not just a Nazi, that was a Gestapo uniform. Yeah, it was that, like that was, that was straight secret up, police Nazi. Yeah, you know? that was straight up a high-ranking uh, SS officer. Yeah, and yeah. why he had all that? No reason. <laughs> they just, didn't explain it. He has this big, huge mural of Hitler in the background. Yeah, it just it's it was just there. It wasn't even really part of his. Like, it, I I couldn't even say that was part of his character. It was just like uh, Frank Miller is like, oh, I'm gonna draw him as a Nazi today. Yeah, and you then right, and right after that, he's dressed in like seal fur. Yeah, it's like they. <laughs> I could have understood it if they did it like he was a uh, you know he was like multiple personality disorder type thing. But yeah, but it wasn't. He was just like a doctor. Yeah, um, I'm actually I'm gonna skip to the end where it. It's uh, Samuel Jackson kind of explaining who he is and who the spirit is and how they're connected. Like, yeah. what, what, like how did this whole thing... It was the catalyst of, of, of this whole uh, situation between them. Yeah. Do we right. have a soundbite for it? Yeah, we have the soundbite for it. All him. right. Um, find the button, find the button. Right there. Oh, okay. Soundbite. <laughs> Do you remember your death, pretty boy? Not the sort of thing a guy forgets. Yeah, I remember when they wheeled you in, you were stone cold dead. Not a breath of life in you. You were perfect. Dead as Star Trek. And I was your coroner. But I was oh so much, much more than that. I'd already built up a righteous drug trade. It's amazing how much a hospital doesn't miss. All you have to do is water it down, spruce it up, and... Achtung! Hello, Swiss bank account. But mere money was never what the octopus was after. All right, so I give up. What were you after? 
Immortality. All five sweet syllables of it. We knew there had to be a better way to keep someone alive other than cutting them open like some free-range chicken. Or pills. They're just another way to stall death, cling on for one more heartbeat, hardly the answer. I got down to basics, man. The essence of life. I cracked the code. Genetics. That's how smart I am. Yeah, you're a real smart fella. Thank you. But it wasn't that easy. And I've got a freezer full of stray beagles to prove it. Oh, what that serum did to those poor dogs was just plain wrong. But when I got it right, well, I had to try it out. And I wasn't about to try it on myself. I might have come out looking funny. I needed a human. And there I was. And there you was. I gave you a modest injection and I waited. So there you go. He's, uh, they're, they're brothers in some way. Yeah, brothers same, by science. Yeah, yeah. brothers by science. Or, yeah. Whatever. I guess it's kind of like, you know, some random stranger gives you a kidney. <laughs> <laughs> You're his brother now? Kidney brother? I don't know. I'm your kidney brother. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Like, I donated a testicle to you. You're, you're my testicle. You're brother. obligated to see him on, like, Thanksgiving or at least invite him over, you know? Yeah, or give him a gift card for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right. Give him an iTunes card or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, iTunes gift cards the most useful of yeah, gift cards yeah please if you want to send a present to us uh, for you know New Year's holiday you through poo at me dot com just give us iTunes gift cards yes or if someone got you an iTunes gift card use it to download our podcast even though it's free yeah that'd be sweet if somebody actually just you know kind of sent us <laughs> iTunes gift cards or <laughs> access codes or something like that that'd be sweet um, yeah. anyway uh, yeah, yeah the uh yeah, the, the Samuel. So, so yeah, Spirit was a uh, like like Nick said in the uh, in the synopsis. He was a ex. You know, he was a cop that was gunned down and murdered, and uh, and Samuel Jackson happened to have this serum that will. Uh, yeah, and he, it's like they didn't give even, you infinite life. They, I would have liked to at least have a little bit more background. On, like, what was it? Was he a surgeon for the cops or something? I don't know. He's just he like just, he just appeared. He's like, he's, Hello. A, he's a fucking grave robber, basically. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty just much. Like, oh, this cop is dead. I why not? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna Frankenstein him back. You know? Yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty you much. Jam this needle in there and pump him full of Clorox <laughs> and see what happens. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was kind of weird. Um, it, it, it was. It was the cop that you know. He was a phoenix. They should have called him the phoenix, not the spirit. Well, they well they said why they called him the spirit. Yeah, that's true. You can't have a name. You can't have a face. You, you know, to the city, you have to be its spirit. You yeah, know, its guardian. I, I kind of dig that little part of it. Yeah, like, that was that was kind guardian. of guardian. That was kind of. You know what's really good for this? I think like go into the DVD extras and watch the little uh, making of before yeah. you watch the movie because they kind of tell about you know. The, all the the background and the history and all that stuff, and I think after watching it, the movie would have made more sense. I think I would have liked it more. But no, I kind of we, yeah. we fucked up watching the movie and then watch all the extras like you do with every other fucking movie on well, the planet. I'm but. sorry, I thought you know going into a movie you shouldn't have to know all the backstory. I mean, there's you people shouldn't. there's people yeah. that would go see this movie because either they saw 300 or Sin City and liked that style, or they just saw it and, or, and like, hey, that looks cool and interesting. You yeah. should you shouldn't have to know. The entire backstory, especially if this is like the first film of it, this should have some sort of, uh, you know, starting fresh or giving you some sort of backstory to it. Yeah, yeah, you should agree. Yeah, it shouldn't just be for the uh, the fans of, of the uh, comic book, yeah. or it will flop. Yeah, <laughs> like it did. Yeah, yeah, and it flopped, and it did. It flopped big time. How much did it make in the in the theater? Do you know? Um, I can pull it up really fast. Pull it up really fast. Can I sing a song while you? No, doing? it's right here. It grossed. Uh, Thirty, uh, yeah, thirty-nine million, thirty-one thousand three hundred thirty-seven dollars. Okay, how much did it cost to make? Uh, fifty-three million. <laughs> Seventy million dollars. <laughs> yes, it it cost fifty-three million. So, they, <coughs> so they didn't even break even. Yeah, they yeah, lost money on they, this one. They they definitely lost money. On well, this that's one. all right because three hundred uh, made more than enough to make up for this. One, I suppose, <laughs> so, you know, yeah, they, uh, can't win them all, Frank Miller. Sorry, no. I have to admire Frank Miller though because he really does seem to be like the type of guy that really wants to get the project right and do it his way, and he he seems to always be really interested in learning the process of making this film and stuff. So yeah. I think from a like a technical standpoint, this was a very very uh, was a good movie um, as far as like all the technology they used in it. 
I think they used like the Phantom camera in this for like certain parts of it too. Did so. they? Yeah, I think so. I don't know what parts they used it in, but I, I think I read somewhere that they used the Phantom camera in it. Um, I, th- I just know. think you're making up shit. <laughs> they used this new hyper Kryptonian camera <laughs> that that actually sees into the future, so they didn't have to film the the movie. And <laughs> they're parts. like, oh man, this movie's gonna bomb. Let's not do it. Yeah, I have to. I have to admit, there there was. Um, I've always heard of being filmed night for day. But um, I was reading somewhere that this was filmed um, uh, wet for dry, or dry for wet. <laughs> um, I'm like, yeah, that's a new term, I guess. In the scenes like where they were underwater, because yeah. uh, Ava Mendez can't can't swim or something like that. Um, which, I don't know, that might not, not be true. Maybe I read that on Snopes, I don't know. You're pulling <laughs> this out of your ass. I read that the octopus is actually uh, an android in this. <laughs> it's a metaphor. It's, for, a, it's a metaphor for, you know, for the fall of socialism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it said um, that the spirit. Um, it's for its first four days. It's opening four days. It uh, it grows ten point three million dollars and uh, placed ninth in the uh, box Ooh, office. Really? Ranking. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Open, opening opening week. I, mean, I wonder if there was because well they they have a strong marketing campaign for this movie. I think yeah. too. So yeah, was, they were banking off of, uh, off of the success. For, yeah, like uh, fucking MySpace S- changed its profile for like two weeks for it or yep. some shit like yep. that. Well, I think back in the good old days of yeah. MySpace. Now that yeah, now now the abandoned <laughs> amusement park of internet sites. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> yeah. That was me coughing. Yes, yes. Um, what else do we have for this movie? The, um, uh, again, going back to Samuel Jackson because that's like pretty much the only thing I can keep going back to. Uh, he had a lot of uh, good one-liners. For some reason, he was obsessed with eggs. Yeah, he like almost all of his one-liners had to do with eggs, and 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 here's all of his a his, montage. Like, of yeah, eggs. a montage of Samuel eggs, or if you will, an omelet. An om- Ooh, yes, yes. yes. I like that. I like that. An so omelet of Samuel eggs. All right. Sound bite. No, no, no. Omelet bite. There is nothing I like better than kicking your ass all night long. Except maybe eggs. Yeah, just hop right over St. Alice's, get fixed up all nice and new. Then I'll have to explain why a criminal mastermind like myself doesn't provide his employees with medical insurance. That'd be egg on my face, Pathos. You know I don't like egg. No egg on my face! Not a glob! Ugh, free range chickens with their big brown ugly ass eggs, they piss me off. Every time I think about those big brown eggs, they piss me off. We live our short, frantic, fearful lives, twisting this way and that. Music and ambition, making up gods, afterlives, all to keep our eyes off that immovable, impassable, diamond hard retaining wall that is death realizing it will splatter our brains like eggs pardon me but is there a point to all this because I'm getting old just listening to you yeah anyway I don't know what the deal with the eggs thing were but you know I I don't I don't, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if you saw this but um this is what I noticed. Like at the, you know, when you first see the commissioner uh-huh. and the spirit communicating and talking, in the banter that they have, yeah. you know, there's like a lot of, there's some some you know tension between them. I'm just looking at them, go, Batman and Gordon don't have that type of tension. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess yeah, I, there there was a whole little like kind of, yeah, I don't know. I could see Batman like you know. This was kind of alternate reality Batman yeah. or something like well, that. Well, they even they even uh, mentioned Robin in there. Yeah. Well, Frank uh, Frank Miller did the Dark Knight. Yeah. Um. Um. You know, comics too. The so, comics. The Dark I mean, Knight. I, I can year see. One and all you, know, yeah. you just wash it off and <laughs> rinse and repeat the story. You know. Yeah. Rinse and repeat with it. Yeah. So I, I I can see that point. I can see that. Um. Apparently, the spirit had like a comic book like sidekick also that they just axed from the movie too. Yeah. It, yeah. In the comic strips. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what was his name? Did, uh, did you... Grease Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, I remember. I I saw it somewhere. I, I don't remember what it was. It was like, uh, shit. What was it? Did um, you really see it or no? No, I did. I, I did. <laughs> no. I did. I just don't remember what it was. It was like uh, Bill Ingvall or <laughs> no? I don't know. <laughs> you're I get, just making up shit now. No, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. It was uh, <laughs> <You got laughs> Ebony Ab- White. Ebony White. Yeah, Ebony White was the. Uh, was the sidekick, but it was like a, a very stereotypical 1930s racist sidekick. So, 
Uh, yeah, we'll it's... just leave that out of the film. <laughs> we'll get rid of... You know what's just kind of funny? Because they have a fucking Nazi, you know, Samuel L. Jackson in it. Yeah, you know? but that's just, you know, tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> yeah. <it's... laughs> yeah, good old racism. It's good if it's, you know, with a... Uh... <laughs> But this is a society that's been beaten in a war, you know? It's okay to yeah, have yeah. that in Eb- the film. Yeah, Ebony White, that is kind of a <coughs> racial pun. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever, why not? Uh, other notes I have on here, Samuel L. Jackson had makeup on in a lot of <laughs> scenes. And he had a lot of, like, I, I guess he had the Bushido-type makeup. Or, you yeah. know, he was in Japan, feudal Japan, in one one of his get-ups yeah, for he, no he was, reason. He was dressed yeah. as a gay show at one point. <laughs> why not? Yeah, what the hell, you know? Um, I what was the one main character? Um, that was Ava Mendez that played her. That sat on the. She sat on a. Yeah, for some machine. random reason, in the middle of a scene while she's a, uh, 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 blackmailing. I guess it was the mayor or, or someone. Yeah, she sits. She sits on the copy uh, on the copy machine and just starts making copies of her ass, which I'm happy about because she had a killer ass in this. It was an awesome yeah. butt. Yeah, I like that yeah. butt. Yeah. Yeah, it was, we didn't. We you didn't get any nudity in the last movie, and this movie you got to see uh, Eva Mendes's ass. Yeah. So, are you happy? No. Well, did I'll you get see. some? Did you get something? Was there some? That's that's probably you? what I'll take away from this film: <laughs> seeing her butt. You know. Yeah. So, if someone asked you, it was like, "Hey, did you see the spirit?" Yeah. What was the best part of it? Eva Mendes's Eva butt. Eva Mendes's butt. Yeah. yeah. We got to see a photocopy, black and white version of it. it was yeah. Great. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that and uh, I don't know. There was just what there was a lot of talking in this movie. Just a lot. It, a lot, it just lot. it just was it just kept going and going yeah. and going. And you really didn't have time to really. I was not emotionally invested into any of these characters. It was I hard couldn't. to. It was hard to yeah, get, I, get I, into it. Yeah, I was like, I. It, it should. You know what? This would have worked as like a Sin City type story. I think the way, reason the way I, the 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 two problems that they have between. I mean, everybody compared this to Sin City more so than they did 300. And yeah. it, with Sin City, it worked. This whole style of dialogue and everything worked because it was three distinct smaller stories all in a Yeah. And this one was just one long, long film. Like, this would have worked out way better if it was just 30 minutes or, you know, a 30-minute story yeah. of some sort. If, they, if he did this somehow the same way that he did uh, Sin City with, with uh, inter- intertwining all of these stories... Yeah. It would have been a lot better, I think. Yeah, I agree. Like, like you know, just like you said, that way you have a little bit more time to, to flush out some of these characters, uh, just because it just <clears throat> went on and on. It was there was like so on. much dialogue. There was a lot of fucking dialogue in this. I mean, it was just it was and like on. Kevin Smith fucking riding a Batman. No, movie. no, Kevin just... Smith looks at this and goes, "Fuck, get to the point." <laughs> There's a lot of fucking dialogue in here. Why is all this shit? You guys in are here? very long winded on this shit. Yeah, and then he talked about a flashlight or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah he just start going on about flashlights. Yeah. Um, well, I the the beginning fight scenes was very three stooges esque. <laughs> I guess it, yeah, that's a good that's a good uh, point to make. There was very three stooges esque. I mean, it even had like the sa- the sound effects and everything. I mean, he hits him over the head with like this, uh, like this outlandish like oversized wrench. Where the fuck he pulled it out of? I don't know. Probably that was, was a wrench, wrench, wasn't it? I guess. Yeah, he just like picks up this like huge gigantic wrench. <laughs> it was a big prop. It was like a weapon that you would see in like Final Fantasy. This, yeah, like, yeah, it was. Oversized falls out fucking of the weapon. Yeah, and he just hits Spirit across the head. The Spirit was like, ah, that didn't feel very nice. But, yeah, ouch. Oh, <laughs> let's but continue it, fighting. That was a good way to start the film. I mean, it, it set you up for you know that these guys are both uh, you know they've got something going on with them they're very yeah. super powered to a certain extent you know yeah because you're you're because you're watching it and you're just going really this is very this is cartoon-esque <coughs> and then uh octopus you know pipes up with saying that oh well we're you know we're why do you same. think that yeah yeah why do you think that you can't get injured and i can't get injured we're the same yeah. and ladies and gentlemen if you stick around for 60 minutes into this film you find out why yeah, exactly exactly <laughs> but in between that you got a whole lot of just talking yes and not much action just no. some stuff this is this is but it'll look pretty yeah, this is exactly what happens nice looking film a lot of talking, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Boom! Something r- random happens. I, a lot of talking, a lot of talking. Yeah, I, out of the out of the three Frank Miller, you know, movies that kind of the thing, the, the Frank Miller trilogy, I guess, of Three Hundred and this movie and and Sin City, I'd, I'd wager to say this was the prettiest movie. I think like it was the best looking movie out of. I all don't know. I I really. I really liked the look of 300. Yeah, just I, well, the, I did too, but I think this one was the most artistic 
of an, of them all, I'd say. This one was, was yeah, this one was kind of, our, yeah. They, they all are in their own aspects. Yeah. Um, this one with the the flat uh, reds, whites, and blacks, you know, your, your basic I could see using comic this... type of uh, strip. Yeah, yeah. I, I could see using this movie as like an instructional tool for like lighting or something like that. Or yes. for storyboarding yes. or something. There was, uh, there was a lot of very interesting lighting. Granted, it was all done on, on, a, on a, a soundstage with, yeah. with green walls and floors and everything. The whole thing was done indoors on a green screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think but, may, maybe that's I wonder maybe that's why the actors gave such a cardboard performance because they didn't have know. anything really to work with. But. Well, they did the same thing with Sin City yeah, and Sin City was did. so much better. They did. Yeah. I just think it I Well, they filmed this movie in like what was it, like 2 months if that, you know. Uh, so they they filmed it pretty fast, I think. Was it 2 months? Yeah, it was it was pretty short as I remember. Um, I know because I was there. So you were? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I lied. That's why you didn't want to watch it. Yeah, I was on the, in the prop department. They made the giant wrench that Samuel L. Jackson used to ah. hit some guy over the head. Well, sir, that was a very nice prop. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good you, job. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was fifty days. You know. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Just say that. Yeah, yeah. it was fifty days. I, I saw it. I yeah. Up. Yeah. Um. Um. What else? Uh. uh Samuel Jackson's henchman. Oh yeah, um, played by the same guy, the dude from The Sopranos. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah, the dude from. He was kind of fun. sure he was in a lot of other things, but but we remember him from The Sopranos. I have to admit, like he kind of stole the scenes when he was in them. I I, I enjoyed seeing him. He was just yeah. happy and dumb. Yeah, he was. He was. He was the uh, the quintessential uh, dumb henchman. Yeah, and I I really liked how he had you know a lo- the his name on his shirt. Like for each, each yeah, each character because yeah. he was a clone. He, he yeah, was, he was, he clone. was the clones. He that... was like a Boba Fett clone, you know. <laughs> kind of, yes, yes, clone, exactly, you know? exactly. He was he was the clone army. Yeah, exactly. And Scarlett Johansson was going to give Order sixty six so they could take out the octopus. And, uh, and, ma- yeah, I, I, don't, oh, okay. I don't know. Sure, yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go go with it. Go with it. Why not? It's better than what we fucking have on there. Yeah, they're, they're, which ain't much. <laughs> um, no. Good one. Way to derail it. Where's wow. Otto Scott when we need him? You I, know? Don't know. I don't know. We, we didn't bring Otto Scott on this one. <laughs> yeah. We weren't prepared for Otto Scott. We thought he would be back, but we yeah. decided to go ahead and do this so we Oops. could get shit-faced on New Year's. He's probably which freezing his ass off. If this is playing after New Year's, yeah. then we're recovering from New Year's. Yeah. But we're recording this before New Year's. Yes. So we're recording this before New Year's so we can drink on New Year's. Uh, you're just throwing too much trying. To, you're, and then we... Give it up. Just move it up, move it up, are, move it up, 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 move it up. Move it I just up. threw ourselves into a paradox here. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> sure. Uh, what other notes I have on here? Let's see. The Spirit, he runs a lot. Yes. Which actually, I guess he, he did at first, but then, you know, in the first ten minutes, he was just running, 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 and then he stopped. He was practicing him. Uh, you know, he was... He was he was exercising, practicing for a marathon that yeah. he's going to be run, doing later on. I took very little notes for this one. Actually, I think halfway through this, um, I just the, since Melissa, <laughs> your, your fiance, was uh, uh, you know sitting around watching the movie with us, or, or you know, I just started drawing a caricature of her. Um, <laughs> and I think it's a, a very good one. bad character. No, what are you talking about? I think it's very good. It's very, yeah, for a Picasso. Yeah, yeah. Not even that. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. It's a Picasso. It's it's a Picasso if he just had an aneurysm. You know, yeah, I guess. No, it's not. What are you talking <laughs> about? That's really good. It's a good picture. You should scan this and put it up online. No, I'm not. <coughs> Which, going by every time I say, yes, I will do that, and then don't do you it. Never, yeah, Me no, saying, yeah, no, I will not, that means I guess I will. will. It's like, ah. Aha. Ah. Ha. Is it the... Yeah. Ha. <laughs> Move it up, move it up, move it up. Uh, move it up, move it up, move it yes. up, move it up, move it up. Uh, yeah, I, th- that's pretty much it. Well, like, I really did, there really isn't that much. To, we've covered everything on this film. I would think this is going to be a short, uh, short episode. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's exactly what we said. It's this is what it um, is. It's it's beautiful to look at. The editing is the editing techniques are really interesting. The cinema uh, cinematography is really interesting. You know the 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 green screen stuff that they use to give it that 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 feel that at that sin city-esque type of feel was, was you know over you know out, out, yeah. outstanding but isn't it kind of funny that like in this movie being two hours long we have so little to talk about it 
well, for it being so long. It, this is the paradox of films. Yes, you know? it this is. is. This is this is the paradox of reviews because we're we're recording it before New Year's and, and going to put it up online after New Year's. And this was the longest movie yet we have the least to talk about. Um, and this was a Frank Miller movie that wasn't good. Yeah. So <laughs> they're going back to do another um, three hundred or uh, Sin City, aren't they? <laughs> That's been in the works for. <laughs> Forever, really? Are they gonna do after after the first one came well, out, he, they said I, that they I think I heard it. that Frank Miller's going to go back and do another three hundred comic. I don't know how that's going to work, but really, yeah, three hundred one. I don't <laughs> what? know. You're just making that up. Oh, he's doing a Batman Year One video. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. That would be very interesting. Yeah, that would be really interesting. Huh. Huh. I don't know. Well, I don't know. It would be it would be kind of a. So who wins in the fight, RoboCop or Terminator? <laughs> um, well, Dexter was able to kill RoboCop. Yeah. But Terminator is now the governor of California. Yeah. So the answer is 37. 37. <laughs> yes, yes. The answer is Vern Troyer. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Vern Troyer could kill him. Well, now we're just, we're just babbling about shit. Yeah, I know. We're right out of Yeah, we're, of just, stuff. we're just going on. Know, maybe right. we should wrap it up? Even though it's I early? think so. I think so. All right. Um, next, it's, it's next. New Year's. We have to go out and drink. <laughs> but it's already past New Year's. No, it's not. Just in time. To me. I, I don't know. We know this that that storyline. Yeah, that that already, yeah, so. that's that's that teat is has been drained. <laughs> we milked that teat dry. Yes, yes. There's nothing more in that. Um, yeah. So all that we have. What left? do we got next week? What do we review next week? I don't, I don't know. Is Scott's gonna be back next week? Right? Yeah, I think so. Is he? Probably. Oh, well. Well, we'll make him decide. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome the, back, Scott. These past pick yeah, a movie because these past two weeks, like we've just pulled our teeth to get it get it all done and we were supposed to have a guest reviewer like in last week and that fell through yeah now our guest reviewer kept following through and, and then we were watching this with melissa hoping that she would be a guest reviewer and she's like i was fucking playing farmville or whatever frontier frontierville like, it's like farmville only uh, you have missions and stuff what the fuck ever i don't know what that means i don't know either whatever. i don't know so okay so uh so your, your final thoughts on this what, final what? thoughts looked great um i could use this as a tool so i wouldn't be surprised to buy it and you know preach about it to like a class somewhere or something like that uh boring um went on too long would have worked better as a 30 minute film uh, rating of one being the best, ten being the worst. I would say, no. yeah, yeah. Sorry, don't go sm- Sorry. Sw- swapping the rating ratings on me. I just got that down. <laughs> new now, year, finally. new ratings. No. Yeah, right. <laughs> In a rating scale of omega and Z, which <laughs> <laughs> which one would this be? Oh, yes. I think it's pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that movie sucked too. Obviously, it's ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think your movie's a ball bag. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, I'll give it... Uh, I get. I want to give it a 7, but I'm going to bump it up and give it a 6 because I could see myself buying it and using this film to teach with, you know? Yeah, so it is a good teaching tool. I'll give it a 6. Maybe I'll maybe give it a few bumps and, and bring it into 5 because I, I really did think the, the cinematics of it were really great. Yes. Um, everything else was just... Blah. Um, my turn. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, yeah. It, it was. I like eggs. <laughs> I like <laughs> eggs. This movie was eggs on my face. It was excellent. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Uh, the. Uh, I'm in the same boat as as you are. It. Uh, cinematically, it was it was very intriguing and uh and and well done, and I liked it for that fact. Um, as a movie, as a as, as a movie in, in, in whole, I would give it, you know, like a f- five uh, for characters and acting. Uh, seven. I, I've I've seen all these. At, well, the majority of these actors do better work. Oh uh, yeah, every single yeah. one of the actors that was in this did better in another film. Yeah, so. yeah. It's, uh, best performance in there again was, was probably Samuel Jackson. Um, but if you know, I was just going for for the the, the special effects and and the uh, 
and the c- cinematography, I would probably have to give it a three. So, okay. I guess... So, what's the average between those two? 17. <laughs> no, Again, uh, we don't know math. So. <laughs> I would say, like, five. Five, I guess. It would, it would yeah. be around five. Would yeah. I give it a five or a six? No, I gave it... I gave it a... I think you gave it a seven, six, and a five, actually, so... <laughs> Yeah, you started off with a seven, and then you bumped it up to a five, yeah, a six, five, and then you bumped it up to a seven, uh, five or whatever. It'd be hard to watch this movie again. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised because I went and saw it in theaters. Uh, uh, Spoon or Taylor, Steve, or yeah, this whatever. is a movie that you absolutely would like leave on and fall asleep to. Yeah, you know? yeah. We he wanted to go see. He was in town when that movie uh, uh, was in theaters. Yeah, and he was all pumped up to go see it. He wanted to go see it, so we went and saw it. And I'm sitting there, and about like halfway through it, I'm just like, I want to fucking get up and leave. I am so bored. I want to see what else is playing. And But I didn't want to do any. I didn't want to do that because he really wanted to see the movie. Yeah. And then towards the end of the movie, I'd look over to see, you know, I was going to tell him, like, dude, I'm I'm, I'm bailing. I, I can't do this anymore. I look over, and he's passed the fuck out. <laughs> he is asleep. And I, you know, I nudge him awake, and he's like, what? And I'm like, dude, you're asleep. And he's like, I know, man. This movie sucks. The spirit. The movie everyone slept past. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was in and out of the theater so fast. Everybody slept through it. Yes. Yeah. So um, next week, uh, hopefully Scott will be back. Um I haven't heard anything from him. I don't know if he will be back I think he'll yet. be back. Yeah, yeah, I think he's back by then. I think he said that he gets back on like on the, the 5th or something. Yeah, and then I think I go out of town. Well, I might go out of town. You might, the next, you might like, be out of town? I might be out of town in the next like two weeks, I think. Okay, but well, I don't know. We'll, we'll, see. we'll cross that bridge when we get yeah. to it. Yeah. So if uh, if Scott's not here, what movie sh- what would we do? Uh, uh, Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> That's the movie no one ever saw. <laughs> But everyone knows about. <laughs> really? Yeah. You want to do Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo? Why not? Really? Yeah, we'll go back to the eighties. Really? 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 Okay. <laughs> Why not? Why not? We'll okay, do. That's the first movie that popped in my head. Anyway. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll do this. So so next week uh, will be Breaking, breaking Two Electric Boogaloo. Breaking Two. Electric Maybe it'll be Breaking Two Maybe. Electric Boogaloo. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It all depends if we can find it or. Uh, we can find oh, it. We can find it. We can find it. All, it all depends well, on what we Well, well we, we saw it at, at Movie Stop, but I don't know if I really want to go get that. Yeah, I don't know if I'd buy it, you know? We'll have to find something. Yeah, now I'm playing with my, my Nerf dart. All right. right. You shouldn't bring Nerf guns into the studio. <laughs> we have a lot of sensitive equipment in here. Yes, yes. All this nice equipment, and I bring toys that can destroy it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, I shouldn't have brought this Slurpee in here. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, look at this big, huge magnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. such a horrible day to wear my roller skates. Whoa. <laughs> yes. All right, so, uh, yeah, we've, we've, we've stalled long enough, so we're going to end this thing. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um, yeah, so until next week, I am Ben. I'm um, Nick. And this has been the Movie Dump Podcast. Move it up, 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 move it up is over. Enjoy your week. Bye. Falling.